Hello, I can hear you better. Right. What's happening, troops? Welcome to a new wee series here on the Sharp Dev YouTube channel. If you're newer in here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I don't really know what this is, Jacko, but <clears throat> would you like to introduce yourself, mate? What's happening? I'm Jack. Um, used to be a YouTuber. <laughs> no anymore, but uh, I. Making a resurgence here on this wee, aye, this wee kind of this podcast. Is, this, is, this, is a, this is a comeback. <laughs> aye, that is. I was thinking about a name for it, right? Um, okay. And I, I've decided, uh, you let me know, what do you think of this? Nay first touch. What do you think about that? Nay first touch. I mean, it's quite accurate considering it's me on it, way. <laughs> aye, same here. <laughs> same here. I've not got a first touch myself. Do you know what I mean? So aye. We'll go forward with that and see how that goes. Will we go for that? Sweet. Aye, right, so. so basically... What the what this wee series is is basically just going through some of the fixtures that are coming up in the SPFL, giving our opinions on them in terms of predictions, and also maybe touching a wee bit on some of the news that is broke so far. Um, one of the biggest pieces of news that's broke this week, Jack, is Aberdeen eight players breaking the rules. Um, going into the city centre, I've made a video on it. Um, but after that, bowling golly of Celtic has been found out to have went to Spain and came back when he's supposed to be quarantining. No told the club, went on, played versus Kilmarnock, and subsequently the Celtic versus St Mirren game was cancelled tonight, and Celtic versus Aberdeen will also be cancelled at the weekend. What's your thoughts on that then, Jack? Uh, right off the bat, obviously, absolute idiots. Uh, Aberdeen and the Celtic player, absolute dafties in terms of just not, there might be a certain example, might be a role model of these young guys and they're, they're doing the thing that you've been told not to do by the law and by the government. So, right off the bat, idiots. In terms of like punishment, I feel like Aberdeen players should be getting fined. I don't, I don't really, I think point deductions are a bit too far, to be honest with you. Obviously, it's a, it's a serious thing they're doing, but Point deduction seemed to me a bit too much. The Celtic player, fine as well. I don't. I wouldn't put it past them getting released because for Celtic fans, I know Celtic fans I've seen on Twitter, they don't want anything to do with them. So it wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me if Owen Golly never played for Celtic again. Mhm. Uh, wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, but also, I think I think you could be right there, Jack, in terms of fines. But what I'd like to see is the fines to go into the bank accounts to the teams that they were supposed to play. Do you know what I, I mean? Would even, like, I would even go as far as saying the teams that sh- the, the, the games that are being cancelled now should be going to the teams that haven't done it in rank. Why? Why are they getting punished for somebody else's actions? I think that you. I, I mean, I would say, obviously it's, it's, it's not sound biased coming from a Rangers fan, but I'd probably I would honestly say the same if it was flipped. If, if it was our fault that we couldn't play a game, I wouldn't even argue if the points got gave to the other team. I know exactly. Once like whatever's happened with Aberdeen, you get annoyed at it and you realise what they've done wrong and then you get annoyed at the say like if that was to happen to a Rangers player, you've got to act the exact same, do you know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. With the team the team that you support and honestly I would. Um the fact that they've broke the rules let's say let's say for example, right, they did they weren't quite clued up on the government rules. Mm-hmm. Celtic put out a statement, Aberdeen have put out statements where Pretty much what they've been saying is they have been telling the players, drilling the players, this is exactly what's happening. If you do this, you need to tell. Do you know what I mean? So Mm -hmm. even if they weren't clued up on the government guidelines, them as an employee, a football club, would have been getting told day in, day out, this is what you must be doing in order to to keep the Scottish game going. In a wider perspective, they're talking about major health issues, maybe breaking out in different places. But for just a footballing perspective... This could lead to further postponements, which therefore could lead to bad things financially for Scottish football. We already know that we're no fully there financially, so it could even lead to some clubs maybe going out of business if there's more postponements, if, if maybe Sky Sports start taking money out of, oh. out of the Scottish game. Do you know what I mean? So I just don't think this is what these players have thought about. And there needs to be, there needs to be a serious um, deterrence, I think, laid out there for the SPFL. And maybe even for the government, finding the players as well. It's just came out in the news today as well. Like if you look at the Scottish game before this, before the league started, but we're already in a pretty bad way as it is. You just seen the news today that the whole UK is in a recession for the second time in about twenty odd years. So Jesus you look Christ, at, you, look, you, look, you look at that, and then you look at that, and then you look at the fact that our game wasn't anywhere near where it should be anyway. 
and you're just making it worse and worse and worse and worse. And this is why doing South Laugh it is because we we never we never it's took seriously because we never we never took seriously because of this kind of stuff and it's we idiots and we stupid things that are going to keep adding to that. And the the, the quicker that we don't act as stupid, the quicker we get fans back as well. The quicker we get it back to the way it should be. It does not look good on the attitude of the players up here as well from the from the outside looking in. Because if you look at the Premier League, there was nothing less that happened. Yes, there might have been a player that contracted COVID, but it wasn't through doing mm-hmm. stupid stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like travelling. I, I, I know that Ball and Golly never ended up having COVID-19 in the first place, but he very well could have and passed yeah. on to the commander players. So it does not look good for the attitude of the players up here and already a game where English and people from further afield look down on us. So... If Ball and Golly comes back positive, the Kelly game was after night. I think he came so back negative another, so far, that's what which I'm, is good so news. If, 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 if he came positive. I mean, if he came positive, yeah. Kelly game's yeah. up as well, isn't it? So you, Absolutely, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a domino effect, and he's obviously not thought about what he's, what he's doing. And it's, it, you have to be living under a rock if you don't know about Spain's issues with coronavirus. I know they were like one of the top countries for the cases, so the fact he's went there in the first place, it's just, it's just beyond me. It's just laughable, isn't it? And I think even aye. the Aberdeen fans and Celtic fans are absolutely disgusted as well because aye. when you look at it from a footballing point of view, if we now look at the league table here, um, Rangers are now went top of the league after the recent results joint top with Hibernian Ross County coming in at third with seven points, followed by Celtic and Dundee United. St Mirren in at sixth, um, Kilmarnock seventh, Motherwell in 8th, joint with St Johnston in ninth, Livingston in 10th, and bottom of the table, Aberdeen and Hamilton. So even from a footballing point of view, if Rangers are now able to put points and create a gap between themselves and mm-hmm. Celtic, that puts on a bit of pressure for those Celtic players, doesn't it? Um, oh, whether they like it or whether they don't, it's going to put pressure on them, and it's up to them to answer that. I listen, to be honest, like Celtic, are, we can't act like stupid. Celtic are going to claw most of their points back. If, if, if we were to win all these, if we were to win all these games in hand, they're going to claw most of them back. But it's the mental aspect that they're going to go into every game they need to win because we are. We could be eleven points clear by what's the next Saturday. We could be, we could be eleven points clear by by next Saturday if we play our games right. So it is a bit big. It's a massive dunt to the mental, the mental side there. It's a massive dunt to the. If you look at the, look at the table, Aberdeen are sitting second last. I mean, I know. You know obviously, obviously the, the the situation with the games is different. But if you were telling me that was going to be the league table at this time of the year, I would have laughed. <laughs> That's what they don't put into perspective as well. These players are not looking at the wider issues here. Aye, and the, Derek, Derek McInnes was already under pressure last season for the Aberdeen fans. Now they're sitting joint bottom of the league. They might not win a game until these key players get back at the squad. And before they know it, Derek McInnes could be out in his ass, and Aberdeen could be doing at the bottom of the table. How many was it? Was it eight players? Was it eight players? Eight players, aye. Um, and key players beat, as I well. Think. Aye. After you get beat as well, after I mean, you, come on. You, so, going out, going out for drinks him. during this pandemic, after you got beat, it's just silly. I know, it's that is um, almost like a celebration. Do you know what I mean? By the angels, it's all right. It was only the one. <laughs> exactly, and it was only the one. Um, but going back to, to Celtic then this is a massive season this is the third time in biggest history in Scottish in, football biggest season in Scottish history absolutely it's, it's the third time in Scottish football history where a club have potentially get the chance to win 10 in a row and now Celtic could be looking at being over 10 points behind Rangers yes they've got games in hand but it's not as easy as said to win their points back so ball and golly sir I think your days could be numbered <laughs> as a Aye, Celtic definitely. player. What's your, what's your finishing thoughts on that, Jack, if you've got any? I just to sum up, obviously, Celtic fans out there, they're, they're not going to be too worried, obviously. It's very early days, but it's probably the worst start they could have had in the biggest season they've had. So, aye, we'll see. And it's just annoying, isn't it, as well, with the football just coming back. We've had to sit aye. through the English Premier League and the Bundesliga and all that, <laughs> and we've not been able to watch your own teams, and, and now that the teams are back, the games are getting postponed. It, it's, it's just laughable, isn't it? Aye. But uh, moving on for that a wee bit, there has been a couple of teams that have been surprise outfits so far, but I'm going to go to you first with that, Jack. Who's been like the surprise team for you, and maybe the surprise player so far um, since the yeah. season started back? So, team, I'm going to go with Ross County, because uh, a team that's fighting for the relegation, finding the bottom spots, 
beating third place Hamilton in their first game. Obviously getting a, no, no, third place Motherwell, sorry, and then getting a one-nil win against, and then getting a one-nil win against Hamilton quite comfortably as well. And then obviously they were unlucky in the night. They were uh, one 0 up against Kelly, went down two one, and then came back to uh, draw two each. So, I it's one of the ones where you look at it and go, they're, they're probably going to be on the downward trajectory at some point. They're going to probably lose a few games in a row. But in, as far as that starts concerned, they probably couldn't ask for better. I've got to agree with you. When I was writing down the script here and thinking about a surprise outfit, I was waiting till the fixtures, like the, the latest fixtures happened, Aye. obviously. And if Ross County were able to pick up a result against a Kilmarnock that just took a point off of Celtic, exactly. that played, although went behind at Easter Road, played really, really well in order to get back in that game. And a lot of people thought that they should have should have got a point for that as well. To, to then get another point from them, that uh, now they're in seven points, sitting third on the table. They've been outstanding. There's a lot well, of stuff being made. I mean, Hibs yeah. as well. I, I fancy Tibbs this year. I think Jack Ross is a good manager. Uh, See, I like a thing on the Dundee this bit's game. unreal. It was something for like the, the first time since the 70s. Hibs have won their first three games of the season. Well, there you so go. You, you need to applaud that. And obviously, that, that's what you were saying then. This bit. He's played absolutely... He's played... Um, he's unplayable. He's, so, he's played well, very good. There's been a lot of players that have big. Uh, there's been a lot of fans and stuff like that have bigged him up, but he's he's my surprise player because no way I never seen him play a lot, um, and I've heard good things about him. But from he scored a hat trick the other day to get an assist in his first game, and obviously they got a good victory away to Dundee United there at Tannadice. Nisbet up front with Dodge. Looks like a, he's, he's a big boy. Looks like he can hold it mm-hmm. in, but he can play yeah. a wee bit as well, and he seems mm-hmm. to be in the right places at the right times. Um, so, what's, what's your thoughts on this? But then, do you think he could could continue to score up here? Yeah, I, I think it'll be a big test when he plays one of the old firm. I think once he once he comes up against a real de- like a no, no disrespect to any other teams, obviously, but once, once he comes up against a defence like yours, who haven't conceded a goal yet, it will really show his talent if he's able to get by that and get a goal or two in that sense. I mean, Hibs is one of the teams. That the, there's never been a Hibs game since we went down, maybe that I've been. Confident and that shows the fact that they've got better progress. Like, and their manager now has got took the reins, and obviously he set the he set the ground running for three games in three three wins. Mm-hmm. I I was actually thinking um, just as you were talking, and it's completely off topic here. <laughs> uh, but I, I was thinking, would you not think it'd be class right if the both of us could get a female on here as well to present with us? Because there does seem to be a lot of females here in like the digital space, like the online space. I think it'd be class to, to have to have a female look, wouldn't it? Aye. It's good to even... get different sort of opinions and different different types of opinions. Obviously, the, the watch Rangers TV, do you watch the Rangers TV tonight with the coverage that the, the Scotland international women's manager as, as, a, as a pundit? She was, she was spot on. Unreal. She's been touted for a lot of the first team jobs up here as well. Oh, really? And I think, I think she could very well take them, mate, to be honest. So if there is a female out there that's maybe interested in getting involved in a wee show like this, Slide into Jacko's DMs. Absolutely. <laughs> he needs it, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, man, my phone, my phone will be buzzing for the first time in about a week. Uh, a <laughs> week? You, you're you. being generous to yourself there. So I'm you're... I'm DMing me you, you <laughs> I know. True. I mean, I, some of the photos I was saying you was inappropriate, wouldn't you? <laughs> we'll keep that for the, for the late night. Aye, let's cut, we'll cut that out. We'll cut that out. <laughs> right, getting on to the match predictions then. It's quite annoying that so many games are postponed, but we've already yeah, touched on that. We've, we have already touched on that. But getting into the first one of the weekend then, Hamilton at home to St Mirren. What's your thoughts on that? So, my opinion is going to be Hamilton to St Mirren 1. I think, I, I think Hamilton have played really well, even though they got absolutely hammered ourselves. The, the, the scoreline does, it doesn't flatter them very much, but I've, I've, I've watched the game back with the highlights and I've I spoke to a few Celtic fan pals of mine and they've said Hamilton played class. They've, obviously, they're sitting at the bottom of the table, don't know, but I think this is the kind of game that they need to bounce back. They need to get, they need to get, they need to get results for this. This is the kind of game they need to get results for because if they don't, they're all going to go down. I know they, they fight with that wee bit in the bottom of the time and they always just seem to, to get there, but if, these are the kind of games that make sure you get there. So I'm going to go Hamilton to St. Man one. Oh, that's that's out there. I'm actually going to go with Hamilton nil, St Mirren one. So far, okay. so far I've been impressed with Hamilton. I know it's early days and stuff like that, but the chairman even came out and says maybe we could push for top six here. And I was, although Rangers dominated the game, don't get me wrong, versus St Mirren, I was kind of impressed with the 
the way that they were trying to get forward at points. Do you know what I mean? They weren't as negative as they were last right. season. And yeah. even the manager said, last season wasn't really me. I like to get after teams. And when he played against the old firm, he did sit in. And I just think when he played against everybody else, they showed what kind of players they had. And I enjoyed watching Superman other than when they played against the old firm last season. <laughs> so I think they can go to Hamilton and get a result. And I'm going 1-0 to St. Mirren. Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you well versed on the big man up front, Jonathan Abuka? Oh, uh, he, he, he looks solid, man. <laughs> he, he is unreal. See, it's just, it's just the kind of goals he scores as well, Jack. Like, he'll just be like at the back post accidentally and it'll scap. He'll like, we'll just hit him <laughs> and he'll cut him and it'll go in the back of the net. Do you know what I mean? Or, like, his back will beat a goal or whatever and it'll hit him in the scap shot. And they just go... <laughs> it's just one of these type of guys. And I think if he can, can get his... I know it is to be fair. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even though, even though I, uh, I did get higher English, Jack, come on, don't try and embarrass me. Nice one, nice one. Just, I just go it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I, had to, um, I had to bribe them. Um, <laughs> but moving on, we'll move on to the next game then. We'll go and do a rugby park, Kilmarnock versus St. Johnston. So, on you that, the, the day I thought Kerry were going to absolutely annihilate County just because of the... I don't know, I had a feeling, a wee gut feeling that Kerry were going to go away and win the night in the dinny. But I predict, I've still predicted a Kerry win for this. I've predicted Kilmarnock won St. Johnston nil. Mainly right, because I just, I, just, I just feel like Kelly are too good for St. Johnston. St. Johnston today, obviously, as the first 90 minutes I've seen them play, there wasn't a lot going for them. There wasn't a lot I could say that I was impressed by, to be honest with you. And Kelly's one of the teams that I'm scared to play as a Rangers fan, never mind a St. Johnston fan. So, <laughs> that actually <laughs> tough pitch, isn't it? I, so they're, they're, they're in a cuff, isn't it? They've got that. They'll know, I don't know what they're doing with that. Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to snap you there. I'm going. I'm going one 0 as well to kill oh, I think. I think the Benjamin Button story will continue with Chrissy Buck. Do you know what oh, I mean? He just. Oh, he just seems to be getting younger. He scored again. <laughs> you know, has three games, three goals, and guess what? I have subbed out El Yunusi for Chris Butt in my fantasy team. Yes, oh, please. I'll have, a, I'll have a wee bit of Chrissy Butt. There was hundreds of people bigging up El Yunusi. That's El Yunusi. That's our fault. Do you know what? I'll, I'll put him in my fantasy team. See how right. he does. But Chris Butt has just started the season. That free kick, man. Oh Unreal, God. wasn't it? Aye. He tried it against Celtic as well, fluffed his lines, mind you, but <laughs> <laughs> he's, all, he's also been something he's been, he's been practicing. What, what's your oh, thoughts definitely. about Chris Buck then? Do you think that potentially they, they need other players to step up and all, though? Because Chris Buck can't uh, get on sale, can he? I think, I, I, think, I think Brophy needs to play to what people think he can Agreed. do because we, we know he's got the talent now and we know he can do it, but it's just a fact of doing it. And uh, if, if Brophy and Buck were to play at their best capabilities, Kamala could well be a team A. To be reckoned with this season, definitely. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's good to see the manager do well as well, because he came under Aye. a wee bit of he came under a wee bit of criticism when he first came in, obviously taking over from Angelio Alessio. But he seems to be steadying the ship now, and he was he was the assistant manager to Steve Clark when he was the manager. So uh, he's doing a good job down there. And but yeah, I just think maybe other goals for guys like like Brophy, Aye. and maybe the midfield runners as well. I really like. Um, power and Dicker in the middle. No, when they play mm -hmm. against my team, but <laughs> when they're playing against other teams, they 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 look the type of players you don't want to play against, and they're consistent right. as well, aren't they? Come on, look, it's one of the teams that we can even at Ibrox. I'm no, I'm not 100 on. They can always, they can always sneak it out. Celtic fans are telling you now as well. Fun each other day. Like I had, I didn't, I had a wee feeling come on, we're going to get something for the game, but obviously that that deep down feeling with Celtic playing anybody, you think we're going to go and batter them? But, uh, they done well to get a point out of them, definitely. Jen Kelly will get top six this season. I do, aye. I do know kind of as well. I kind of going against myself. I thought, I thought maybe they'd just miss out. But with the way that they've started, I, I, the, I don't see why not. The team, the team I'm not sure about getting top six is Dundee United, don't know. Because at the start of the season, I would have said aye. And now I'm a bit like, I don't know. That's another one I'm pissed off at. Dundee United. <laughs> just, just, just for, the, just for the, uh, the fact that Shanklin's injured. And I've got him in my fantasy team as well. How long do you, you know? <laughs> Do you know, I don't even know. Like, when he was out for the first game there, people thought, like, it, it just came out of nowhere. So some people thought maybe yeah. he'd moved on and he was going down south or whatever. But then he was in the stones uh, versus Hibs there the other day. So mm. I think it might just be an injury. Hopefully he's back soon as well because it'll like, be good to see him in the league to see what he can do. 
if they lose him, they need a replacement because if they suit him, they're not going anywhere in this league. Nah, aye, absolutely. I think he's a star man. Well, everybody knows he's a star man, but I think he's the difference aye. between potentially <laughs> if he has some season, he can get top six. Absolutely. Definitely. And moving on then, that's that's quite a good wee transition into Ross County versus Dundee United. Obviously, we don't know whether the shank will be will be back. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'll, I'll kick us off in this one then. Ross County have obviously been both of our surprise outfits. Big Ross Stewart and the Highlander, Higuain, Billy McKay have been <laughs> doing, doing their thing, haven't they? So I am going to go for Ross County to take this one. Do you know, on oh, nice. experience. I think they might do them on experience. Okay. And I'm going to go. I'm going to go two one to Ross County. Okay. For this, I, as I said, Ross County have now been in the league for a while. They've been playing well. They're like the form team in the league, unsurprisingly. Um, and Dundee United have done well in spells, but I think mm-hmm. versus St Johnston, they showed that, they, that some of their players are still adapting to yes. to this level. And with Foot Shankland, I'm going to go for the Dingwall boys. What are you saying? So, I've actually went for Ross County 1, Dundee United 1. I went for a oh, week draw. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. My, thoughts, my thoughts behind this are, Ross County have went into these first three games with nothing to lose and they've went for it and they've done well. I think a wee bit of them thinking, we're doing alright here. We're got, the, the pressure might get... There's no doubt we've been in the top six before. So, I think... Yeah. I know it's early, early doors. Dundee United are a team that are going to go into that game thinking we have nothing to lose either. They're, 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 the one, they're the ones that come up. They don't have anything to lose this, this full season, in my opinion. But Ross County are going to notice they're playing a bit well. They're going to notice that Dundee United are a good team. They're going to try and sit back, maybe hit them on the counter. I don't get, I think it's going to be a draw at the end of the day. What about the Ross County gaffer as well? Spit an image of David De Gea. Have you seen that? <laughs> I've seen the tweet, aye. <laughs> Honestly, like, I've I seen somebody well, saying I that... I get my head down on this David De Gea watch his SPL. <laughs> I know. Oh, well. <laughs> he, he, might, he might learn something for Big John McLaughlin. I was going to say, gonna say that, that manager probably would do better in goals. David De Gea's just thrown it in his net, isn't he? Do you know, <laughs> I think that the Ross County manager could maybe sub in one weekend. He could, he could go to keeper for Man United. Get the gloves on. In the semi-finals of the Europa League. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good. That that's actually, do you know, that's actually something that happened during the week there as well. Motherwell and Aberdeen were obviously drawn in the Europa League. Rangers are in, in the second round of the Europa League. Mm-hmm. Celtic, luckily, will play uh, their qualifier versus Reykjavik. Do you think that I think that um, Celtic could possibly get the group stages and so could Rangers in the Europa League. Uh, but I, how do you think Motherwell and Aberdeen will fare? Uh, well, if you're, a, if you're a Gogsy watcher at home, you'll know that uh, Gogsy is expecting maybe... And no, Gogsy, Gogsy does not qualify as a female to get in the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, Gogsy, I tried, mate. But uh, I think... I think both... I think Aber, Aber, Aberdeen maybe at a party and get third round. I don't see any of them getting groups. Motherwell, it could go either way. Motherwell could go into that first round and get humped, or they could go into that first round and get a nice wee two or something. But I see, I'll see Motherwell second round, Aberdeen third or qualifying round. I think Aberdeen will go out in the first round. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to sit. I would love to sit here and be optimistic, but nah, I don't see them getting far, man. I don't think they're well equipped. But Motherwell, although oh, no, had a further than Motherwell. Oh, no, I see nah. getting further than Motherwell, sorry. I, maybe, you know, but uh, we are a key players missing as well. It could be hard. Right. I'm hoping Motherwell I'm hoping Motherwell can get maybe setting the third round. I think that would be good for the club. I actually I like what I like what Motherwell are doing as a club as well. Like on the social media side of things, is, mm-hmm. uh, they have Alan Burroughs, I think, is their chairman or their chief exec. And he comes from kind of a marketing background. Some of the stuff they're doing on YouTube and online and even for the community in Motherwell is class. So, I'd like to see Motherwell day well now. Um, see if they could get the group stages. That would be... I mean, that, would, that would be class, wouldn't it? For Scottish football. We know firsthand like, how hard that is coming through Aye, games or, or, or whatever it is in this current climate. How hard that first, is to first, get to that team, group stage. First team today, aren't they, for the first round? Absolutely, aye. Well, first team and Rangers were the first team to get through the first round to the, like, the groups and then to get as far as they did to the last 16. Exactly. So it really was. It was some run for Rangers and the coefficient went up, um, which will result in two Champions League spots aye, as well. Champions League, that. Aye, that's good. And that's aye, good. I, I can only that. be... Donkeys ago, mate. <laughs> it can only be good for Scottish football, can't it? If 100%. we get two Champions League spots, two Europa League spots or whatever. But, yeah, moving on then. Um, 
we'll go Hibs versus Motherwell, which is the first televised game of the weekend. Would you like to kick us off then, Jack? Sure. Um, I've went for Hibs to Motherwell now. I don't see Hibs dropping points to them. Hibs just seem too good and outfit for Motherwell now. I think, I think Hibs might not slip up until they get one of us, honest to God. Uh, the, I watched them play the United. It was a very slow start to the game, but once they, go, once they got the goal, it was destroyed. It. So, I Hibs to Motherwell nil, and I, maybe Nesbitt will get a goal. I'm going to go for Hibs 3, Motherwell 1. Oh, nice. I think Hibs will do them as well. Um, although I've been bigging up Motherwell a wee bit, the start of the season hasn't been too great. And see when they were two one up the other night, I was buzzing because I was getting <laughs> a ninety I was getting a ninety six quid accumulator up. I had Rangers minus two. I had PSG both teams to score. We all seen how that one turned out. And I had bloody motherwell. <laughs> bloody motherwell but Forest wee brother had to pop up, didn't he? And get and get the equalizer. So I'm not happy at all with Motherwell. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take um I'm gonna take Hibs. On this one as well. Oh, me too. I, I don't. I don't. That's probably uh, the, the first few games I've spoken about. That's the one I'm. I would put my. I'd put money on. Hibs winning. There's that also one. been. There's also been talky. Hibs wanting Ross McCrory as well. I've seen that. I, I, if, if I was, if I was in charge, I wouldn't. I wouldn't let him go to Hibs. And it's not like a pure salty thing. But Hibs, Hibs would never do the same for us in that situation. So I don't. I don't see Gee in a team that's your one of your closest rivals. One of your Best prospects, in my opinion, it would need to be a big, it need to be a big sum for me to let him go to Hibs. Aye, and I don't think Hibs could afford Greg Doherty as well, so I don't think they're going to be able to afford the wee man Roscoe. I've seen, I've seen a wee hang on but, Twitter just after the game that he might be going to Hull. That'd be a good move for him. So it would, I think it'd be good for his career just to get playing because if you don't know, we're talking about we're Greg Doherty. He went on loan to Shrewsbury, had a great season, scoring goals, assists. And then he uh, came back to the Angels and for whatever reason, didn't he go back out on loan? And then subsequently went to Hibs where he was brilliant again. But I just don't think he's I don't think he's ready for that Rangers midfield. I don't think he's going to get much game time. So for his I career, I like him an army. I, 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 I like him. I think he's some pro. So I do. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's what you need in the middle of the park. Obviously, he's not hit the level of us yet. But for a team that has level, he's exactly what you need. If he was to, if Hibs could afford him, he'd fit in that team perfectly. Because when he was there, he, he slotted it into that midfield. He's only 23 as well, so exactly. he can get down to Hull. Hull are a, a decent sized club, and he can do well down there, get back at the Championship and forge a good career for himself. And what's to say Definitely. down the road that he can't, he can't come back up to Scotland um, or, or get a, another good move? So I. Um, We'll move on to the final game then. Did I give my score prediction there actually? I did, didn't I? 3 1. Aye. Aye. Yeah. We'll move on to the final game. I'll let you kickstart this one as well, Jack, since we're on the, f- the first show. The second televised game on the Sunday it's Livingston versus Rangers. Rangers with a chance to go three points uh, further on there. So, yeah, what are you thinking for that? I'm thinking Livingston 1, Rangers 3. I think Livingston will be the first team to score against us this season. Just wink, wink to that one there. Uh, I don't. Livingston at home is one of the places everybody struggles at, and especially the old firm. Uh, Celtic have been beat there, we've drew there. So, but at the moment, Rangers just look too comfortable. With every game I've watched so far, we look we look strong everywhere across the park. Uh, we Morelos has been playing at his best, and he's one of the, he's got like the highest stats in the league or something. He's got the best goal, mm. the goal contribution. I, I, I do think Alfie's been coming on though. Do you know think like? Aye, he played better than he. He played better than he. Aye, and the, the game before, day. obviously with the double. Aye, two goals, obviously. But uh, I, I just see Rangers being too good now. We're a bit too strong. But no, I'm not even going to lie. I wouldn't be surprised if we went and had a hard game there. But my score prediction is three one Rangers. Brilliant. Um, I don't think they'll have seen a score, but I'm going to go for a two 0 victory to Rangers. I think that the Tony Macaroni Arena has been. <laughs> it's actually. Although they've gave us hard games, the spaghetti had I. <laughs> Although they've gave us hard games, I feel like Rangers are actually quite good on Nasha Tough and we've got good results versus mm-hmm. Livingston. We've, although Dykes has played well against us as well, you know, we've handled him most times that we've played them. And so I think we'll go there, we'll win 2 0. And even if, 
I'm saying two and all right, but it might be a case of we do go there and we, we do a number on them as well because Hibs went there, beat them four one. But again, no, every single game is the same. And Gary Holt came out after the game where they get beat four one, obviously after after Hibs, and he went after his team. Mm-hmm. He, uh, for me, it might have been a bit too soon, but judging off of the result tonight away at uh, Motherwell, there has been a reaction there. So the new might be a better performance subsequently versus Rangers. And you know what it's like when any team plays against the old firm, they right. up their game, didn't they? I was going to just about to say that. Uh, uh, in my opinion, they would have went to they would have went to play Hibs, and they would have went they would have went for that for the for the first whistle. For me, when they play, when they played old firm, they sit and wait for a, wait for a, wait for a chance to get a a yeah, shot and goal. So I think Hibs probably punished them for their actions, obviously trying to come out a wee bit. But for me, they're going to sit in. I think we'll get the first goal. We'll maybe go 2 0 up and then Rangers might slack after a bit. And then, then they'll come for us. They might get a goal back and then we'll subsequently get another one. But I'm going to go away. I'm going to go, I'm going to even go a wee bit further here. I'll say 3 1 and I'll say like Eton will get his first goal for the club. It'll be important, won't it? I know he's came on twice now. He's no. I, like he I, know, I, know, I know we are. He's obviously the number one, but he needs a start. We can't. We can't point him on at sixty-five cent a minute and expect him to be involved in the game like that and so quick. Yeah. But uh, we've seen him today. Obviously, we've seen him the other day as well. But you can't judge it. You can't judge too much after that. I think it's hard though. See, you've got a striker like Alfredo Morelos. Exactly. As, as long as he's at Rangers Football Club, he he'll be the number one. I reckon. I think he's. I think he's class, mate. Honestly, I think he's a natural goal scorer. I think he's in the right places at the right time. Although his technique might not be the greatest, he no. just knows where the net is, doesn't he? And he's hungry for goals, which is which is what I like as well. After boys, he's great. You, you, you've seen him get a uh, who was it? Uh, playing the other day, when he was he was jumping he was jumping back, bringing defenders out to him, letting Haji and Kent run in the middle there and waste so much space. I've never seen a I've never seen us waste so much space up the top before when we're playing teams that usually put eleven people behind the ball. It was mental. Absolutely. Well, that's us went through all of the predictions there. We'll see in the next episode who comes out <laughs> we, on top there. Are we, going, are we going to go with a point system here? Ah, I don't know, man. Uh, maybe on. we'll do. Maybe Come maybe on. in the next <laughs> maybe in the next episode we might do a wee, accum, a wee accumulator or something. Like put a quid two, on two, it and two see. Point, two, two points for a for a right for a right ace uh, winner and a five right. points for a right scorer. Right, okay, we'll go with that and all then. Let's we'll do go that, with that. Let's do that. I, I fancy I'll, putting I'll, I'll get a mask for you. I'll tell it up for you. I'll kill the mathematician <laughs> anyway. I'll just be the I'll just be the lingo guy, you know what I mean? Right, okay. okay. I've, I've got the tongue, you've got the brain. We'll keep it at that. <laughs> okay. Um but I maybe we can do a wee accumulator going forward as well, just to see aye, let's go for it. Aye. But uh, obviously the, if you're the only difference we had there was I had a draw for Ross County, didn't I? Yeah. On you had some actually. That's true. I had the Saints, oh. yeah. We'll see. I'll we'll win the Saints. Go marching <laughs> in. I'll win the Saints. Go marching in. I don't know what they're singing or the fact they know what they're singing. I'm pretty sure Rangers <laughs> sang something like that, apart from the uh, No the Saints at one point, no? I, I can't remember. I'm not sure. It's too late. We'll, we'll, it's we'll, see, late, if, we'll see if the DJ has it on the next home game, right? <laughs> Aye. Absolutely. Well. Well, Jacko, it's been tremendous, mate. It's been a good first wee episode. I don't know how long we've went, but potentially going forward, we could um, dive into some other wee tasty things. Definitely. Yeah? Hopefully. Aye. Aye. Aye, it's, been, it's been class having you on, mate. Um, his links will be in the description below as well. And if you've enjoyed the show, make sure to like it and subscribe. <laughs> I, hate, <laughs> I hate outros. Yeah. I absolutely hate them. Like and it's like and subscribe, guys. You know what I mean? It's worse. It's worse. Sorry if anyone has to say it's worse if somebody's watching it. <laughs> I know, like uh, your eyes are just locked fucking on me there, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> but aye, mate, that's that'll do. Cheers, everybody, for tuning in. Um, she-